The constant rain we've been getting has taken a toll on our farmers, especially those with corn and cotton fields. NBC 15's Laura Barczewski joins us live from Baldwin County tonight. Laura, they've already lost some of their crops. They have, Kim. One farmer I talked with says his cotton is really struggling. You can see the corner of this field is flooded, and this is just a small slice of what they're dealing with. Farmer Tim Mullick says it's been raining for months, likely making this year worse than last year. Six and a half months, it has rained for four and a half months. We've had two, two months where it didn't rain or was normal. Mullick says his corn took a big hit, but he was able to harvest a good portion of it. 170 was, was not perfect, but it was good enough to leave. The 80 was, um, it, it was a disaster, so we replanted it. As for his cotton, that's not doing as well, and if the rain continues, he could lose even more. We probably had 10% just drown out, gone. While many crops were destroyed last year during Hurricane Sally, some are struggling even more this year. The rain from Sally and the rain from Nicholas is about the same. The problem is we had a lot better crop going into Sally than we had going into Nicholas. Mullick says all they can do is hope for some dry time and salvage as much of their crops as possible. We are going to hope for some sunshine, some heat, and a good harvest, and we're going to close this chapter of 2020, and we're going to move on to next year. Mullick says while this likely won't affect the supply chain, it will affect the farmers and likely those drivers and other people connected to the harvest who are maybe hauling it away. Reporting live in Baldwin County, Laura Barczewski, NBC 15 News.